What's up everyone? Welcome to my review for Lawless, a new movie starring Tom Hardy, Shia LaBeouf, um, Gary Oldman, Guy Pearce, Mia Wasikowski, Jessica Chastain, a couple other people. There's a lot of people in this movie and I was actually looking forward to seeing this because it had a very cowboyish feel to it even though it was set in the Prohibition era so there's a lot of gangsters in the film. So I thought that was a cool little combination so I was actually really looking forward to it and also Tom Hardy is in it. And I love Tom Hardy, Jessica Chastain, who I love as an actress, and she's hot, so that's a plus. Uh, and, you know, Gary Oldman, Guy Pearce, I, I love the cast. Even Shia LaBeouf, I think he could do good when he's not freaking uh, yelling, Bubble Bee Optimus! Ah! You know, he's not just running around acting like a dickhead, you know. I think he's actually a good actor, so... Or he's swinging on vines while Indiana Jones, you know. I think he's just a good actor when he's, you know, in actual dramas or real movies. So anyway, yeah. Let's talk about it. So the story for Lawless is actually based on a true story. At least most of it's true, maybe some of it's true. Something here is true because at the end they actually show you the real life brothers in this film, so yeah. Anyway, the movie itself is based around the Banderit brothers who are pretty much outlaws because they sell moonshine that they make in like, you know, basements and, you know, far away so no cop can find it. Can find it, oh my god, can find it. <laughs> and um, they make moonshine and sell it to people during the Prohibition because Prohibition, you know, it wasn't a popular time for people and uh, they sell it to people so that's how they make their living and uh, also they have this like little legend about them that they're all, all three of them are immortal because they all survive something really devastating. Uh, it's, it's just a very small side plot so they're pretty much badasses in this town because they sell moonshine and they're pretty much called immortals. One thing I did not mention in the story is that Shia LaBeouf is the young brother in it so that means yeah you know, he's he starts off young feeble thinking he could do a lot and he gets his ass kicked a lot in this film and he becomes a strong-willed man at the end so it's like a transition from young boy to strong young adult so I like that transition and I think the acting at least I mean especially from Shia LaBeouf really captures that. I mean, the, the the acting is absolutely fantastic in this film, and Shia LaBeouf is just great. He really is in this film. I really liked him as the main character. While Shia LaBeouf is great in the film, Tom Hardy is absolutely fantastic. He really is. He is phenomenal. First of all, he has just a badass presence to him. Even though he only does a couple of badass things here and there, the way he walks, the way he talks, just the way everybody else in the movie talks about him, how he's like a mortal and all this stuff, it's just... A, it's just badass, you know, backstory and just the way he just presents it. It's just so badass. Every time he gets on the screen, I'm like, man, he can he can screw some stuff up. And he feels like a real character, too. It's not like he's just going to pull out three freaking uh, switchblades and just, like, cut everybody in half and stuff. I don't know why I thought of that. But, you know, it just n nothing out of ordinary. Just, you know, punch a few dudes and break some legs, you know, just realistic stuff. Tom Hardy is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Jason Clark, who I've never seen before in any film, I don't think at least, uh, is great in this film, as well as the other Bondurant brother, and he does a great job. Uh, Jessica Chastain gets naked in the film. Good. Uh, and she's great in the film, by the way. She pretty much plays uh, the waitress of Tom Hardy's bar that he owns and uh, she's great in the film. Uh, Gary Oldman is in it for about three seconds but uh, he's badass in the film. He really is. He actually looks really cool in his little suit, his little Tommy gun. Uh, he's like 70 years old in the film. Well, he, at least he looks like it. But he, he wears that suit pretty good. And he holds that Tommy gun pretty cool. He's a pretty, he's a pretty badass in this film, I have to admit. I keep saying badass but that's a, that's a great way to explain a lot of the characters in this movie. Um, so yeah, Gary Oldman was great. Guy Pierce was absolutely insane just the way he looks the way just his hair slicked back and he just looks so like menacing and just like you don't want to screw with this dude because he's just gonna grab a knife and just rip out your throat and show it to you like it's just <laughs> I don't want to screw with this dude and uh, all the other acting like you have a, a character played by Dan DeHaan in the film who plays the partner of Shia LaBeouf's character uh, wh whenever Shia LaBeouf goes around alone he always has this kid with him and uh, he does a great job you might remember him from Chronicle he played the main character of that movie uh, he's in this and he's great um, and yeah, the rest of the acting is great in this film as well so overall the acting is absolutely fantastic the story is absolutely fantastic the acting is phenomenal 
this movie is just very well made. It really is. Now, I did have a couple problems with it. There is times where it gets very slow and it gets kind of boring here and there. And there's no real characters that I like on the screen sometimes, you know. Um, and they're talking and stuff. And, and, and there's little side plots here and there, uh, including with uh, Jessica Chastain's character and even Shia LaBeouf's character that I could, you know, live without. And it's a pretty long movie uh, that could have been trimmed down. But for the most part, uh, all the chemistry between the characters w was fantastic fantastic. Uh, it was very funny at times too, which was really, really, uh, really nice. I like when movies actually try to add some humor to, uh, you know, to the actual story. And there is a lot of violence in the film. Let me say that. There is violence in the film and there is some action. You know, at the end, there is a shootout, which is actually a pretty good shootout. And there is violence in there. And there's a whole section where uh, Jason Clark and Tom Hardy's characters are doing something to a police officer <laughs> that, um, is pretty damn funny, pretty gruesome, and yeah, your skin might crawl a little bit, especially if you're a male. Uh, but, uh, it was it was a pretty good scene. So you know, what? overall, I would say Lawless is definitely a movie you should check out, even though it has some slow parts to it. Um, yeah, there you go, Lawless. I'm gonna give Lawless a 30. Two out of a 40. Even with those slow parts, I thought the chem chemistry between all the characters was uh, was great. Uh, Jessica, Ch uh, I, I can't speak. Jessica Chastain was hot and she got nude. Um, you know, top, not bottom. That's fine. At least I got that. So um, Jessica Chastain's nude. Uh, the acting's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the writing is great. The direction's great. John Hillcoat again did an amazing job with the direction. Uh, the road and the proposition and now Lawless. You're doing great. Three for three. So there you go. 32 out of 40. There's my review. Thank you and goodbye.